guys, it's Alicia. Tonight I'm down in Old Town getting ready to review this treat that was sent to me. Compliments of Mr. Barry Stein at Miami Cigar and Company. As you can see this little beauty, this is a Robusto. And this is a kind of a sneak peek. This is the Casa Miranda Chapter 2. Hasn't really come out yet. Um, they're going to debut at the IPCPR this year in July. So I'm excited to try it out. Thank you, Mr. Stein. Very open draw from the pre lit. A little bit of sweetness, but definitely get a pinch of spice in there. Toast the foot a little bit. Great flavor right off the bat, producing a good, a good amount of smoke. Got a little bit of spice right away, kind of like a different spice, more of a... Stronger, like a cayenne pepper maybe. It's really good. Well, anyways, I'm going to smoke it down a little bit more, go into some more detail with you shortly. I'll check back in shortly. Okay, so I'm getting into actually finishing up the first third, and I was smoking and talking to some people, so I lost my ash, but um, flavor on this is phenomenal. I mean, it has the, the milk chocolate taste to it, definitely has a nice kick of pepper. Um, I'm impressed. I mean, it's... The sequel to the chapter one, um, Casa Miranda, but this one is actually made in Esteli, Nicaragua. And again, the flavors on this are just, it's a great combination, very complex, definitely a medium bodied cigar. Um, getting that spice on every, every puff, producing a nice amount of smoke. Definitely recommend you try it once it comes out and I'll let you know as it changes. So coming down to the last little bit here, great cigar you can tell because I'm almost burning my fingers, I don't want to put it out yet. This has been again the Casa Miranda Chapter 2. Definitely recommend you try it out as soon as you can get your hands on it. Great flavor, remain consistent throughout, great draw, great burn line, haven't had to relight anything. It's a great stick. Try it out when you can. Thanks for watching.